What's going on guys? Welcome to episode 46 of our NC State Return to Private Dynasty. This is our week 11 recruiting before our game against the Miami Hurricanes. So we're looking at Jeremy Clark. He's a defensive end pass rusher. He is 75 overall and a four-star prospect. So uh, he has us, Oregon, and UCF as his top three teams. And we're pretty much in the lead for him. But uh, So I uh, tried to do this commentary earlier, but it didn't really work out too well. So I'm going to go ahead and do it now. But uh, I just got done finishing... Uh, finished playing the uh, the game against Miami. Uh, it was pretty good. Um, it was a great game. Um, my power went out at one point. No, that was in the other game. I don't know. There was one point. It was in a while. I don't know if it was when I was filming that or another game. Um, not like NCAA, um, but another game. I was filming just for some fun. The power went out, and so... Uh, I lost all the stuff, so I don't think it was the Miami game. I don't remember. Uh, but anyways, uh, the uh, the game went really good. I think um, I hope to get that chopped up and and rendered and brought been brought out here pretty soon. I'm going to uh, go ahead and whenever I'm done with this, gonna render it, this out and then go ahead and go work on that. Uh, so, uh, but yeah, so um, I finally nar narrowed down. Um, well, first let me talk about the game against Colorado. Um, that game against Colorado was fantastic. Buck Mangum had a great game. Chuck Griffin had a great game. And I love the arrival of the old Sean Lane. That was fantastic. He went ham, and uh, he really showed up. Scott Fleming was having a hard time. Hopefully he can bounce back in the next game. Uh, Oliver, Smith, Oliver Smith is still like the beastiest kicker ever. And uh, so and, uh, Luke Jordan had a good game too. So, <coughs> um, But... Um, in the last uh, recruiting video, I talked about um, setting up um, a poll for my return to prime time slash road to prime time. I'm merging the two uh, together for 2014 for uh, NCAA 14. And uh, my top five teams, not really like one through five, but you know, like the ones that I've really picked out that I really would be interested in doing is Syracuse, Penn State, BYU, Arizona State. And Vanderbilt now Syracuse and Vanderbilt really haven't been in the spotlight like really ever in football Vanderbilt had a really 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 nice um, 9 and 0 start a couple years ago and that was really whenever people really started noticing them Arizona State was really good in the early 2000s BYU and Penn State have national championships and uh, so um, BYU hasn't won a national championship since uh, 82 or 83, maybe 84. It's like the low 80s right before 85. And uh, Penn State hasn't won one in a long time either. So um, they would be really – like Arizona State, BYU, and Penn State would really be the return to primetime part. And then if we were going to do Syracuse or Vanderbilt, it would really be the like kind of like the road to primetime. Um, so uh, that's – those are the teams I've kind of picked out. Um, I thought about doing California, like, as my other Pac-12 choice because I have a ACC, a Big Ten, an Independent, a Pac-12, and an SEC. I kind of thought about California. I actually had Washington originally, but Washington has, like, a 90 overall, and I didn't really want to do that. So maybe California will, will be instead of Arizona State. I don't like Arizona State's playbook. Well, of course, I'll be using it, the USC, so never mind. Um, but Arizona State's playbook is going to be – I mean, Arizona State will be kind of fun because it's in, I mean, it's in the Pac-12, and that's a great conference. So, um, but I'm gonna try to get a poll together and get that out to you guys as soon as possible. Um, I, I just gotta find a good polling website. So I think get any comments on the last video about possible polling websites. So I need to check and see uh, what what possible websites I can go and I uh, get you guys the link. So there, there may be a link in the description of this video. If not, definitely in the there will be an annotation or in link in the video that is the Miami game. Um, or if not, then it will be in the NC. Then then the following week, week twelve, we play uh, North Carolina in our in-state rivalry game before we go off to Duke and play Duke in the last game of the season. Um, so. Um, in, so the North Carolina game, it may be in the North Carolina recruiting video because I already have that recorded as well. So um, I'll have to see. You guys will just have to look for that, and I'll give an update uh, on that. Also, uh, my Minecraft playthrough with Mark, um, the 26th episode is messed up. 
Um, the 27th, 27th episode is fine. So I'm going to uh, just put a little note um, at the beginning of 27 and uh, and just let you guys know that 26 will not be coming out because it is messed up. So, um, And we were having connection problems right then. That may just stay at 25, honestly. The last two episodes were really chopped up. All that happened in the last two episodes is that we went down into the mine shaft and we uh, we uh, found a abandoned mine shaft and a bunch of creepers and the market on getting lagged out. I was getting frustrated. I don't think I died. I may have died. I don't think I did. But uh, it was like right next to lava and there's like four or five intermen as well. So it was pretty intense. But again, it, it got messed up. Plus, there's a lot of uh, problems with the actual recording. Um, so... Though that probably won't be coming out. The next hardcore parts will be coming out uh, today or tomorrow. Um, those have been already. I have like four or five sessions of that already done. So before people had started asking me uh, if they could play, we've already been, we had already recorded it quite a bit. So um, whenever I get a chance to, I'll get you guys in. Next time that we record, we haven't. I mean, we haven't recorded since like May. So because I mean, I haven't been able to be on Xbox since like May. So. Um, but it feels really good to be back doing the NC State Dynasty. Um, I don't know about Duke at this point. I'm really wanting to go ahead and move on. Duke, I'm, I'll probably do Duke. I have to finish up Duke. If anything, I'll just do the games. I won't worry about recruiting for the rest of Duke. Or I'll do recruiting, but I just won't show it. So just to try to get that out. Um, that will probably be next weekend, if anything, maybe. I don't know. I have finals this week, so I don't know how it's going to go. Um, but, uh, so hopefully it will be good. Um, I think it will go good and I think that we will be able to, uh, get, um, get Duke gun, Duke, you know, get Duke done. Um, and I'm excited to see what happens in this, uh, these last two games for NC State. Um, I'm sorry, last three games for NC State. Um, just because, you know, coming off that Colorado game, we're pretty hot and we've been hot for eight games straight. So, um, I'd like to see what happens with this squad and see how we, how we do, you know, honestly, we're going to go ahead and go and check the conference standings, uh, real quick. Just to show you guys some of the cool things that are happening in ACC. Uh, we are number one in the ACC altogether. We're number five in the nation. Virginia Tech is number two in the ACC. They're number seven. Wake Forest is number three and number six. So that right there is funny that the ACC has three in the top 10, um, and I'm in the top five, so that's pretty cool, I think. And uh, there's a really something that's something that was really cool about the Wake Forest thing being number six. Um, I probably won't touch base on it this video. I will the uh, North Carolina recruiting video uh, just because it's, it's pretty funny. Uh, so, um, but yeah, that's how that's how we um, that's how we stand in the standings. It's funny that Florida State's at the very bottom at four and four after they were number like five and we beat them. And they kind of went downhill from there. But as we check the Heisman standings, uh, Jerome Edwards, senior running back for the LSU, is ahead. Followed by Ron, Rod Muhammad, who is the running back, the beast running back for Wake Forest. He's number two currently. And uh, we're going to go ahead and check the top 25 polls. Sitting atop the polls is LSU. They played Bama uh, this week. Or sorry, last week. And they won. They're about to play UAB, which isn't anything special. Uh, Oklahoma State plays Texas or play Texas, and uh, Washington State is up next for USC. So we'll probably be playing USC, um, unless the top, uh, unless USC loses, Texas loses, any of the undefeated people loses, then we will be pretty much in the same spot. Uh, and then of course, if we lose, then we're 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 gonna drop probably to number ten. Like honestly. Uh, or farther. TCU and Georgia are sitting at the bottom of the rankings. That's pretty funny. But uh, we're going to go ahead and slide over. I'm going to show you guys. Uh, after we look at the players of the week, we didn't make it. There's a Kentucky defenseman and a, a Notre Dame wide receiver made the actual NCAA. The ACC was a uh, wide receiver for Virginia and strong safety for Duke. And then the week before was wide receiver. I mean, it was a uh, 
It was a Virginia Tech player and a Wake Forest player. We're going to look at the passing leaders. Buck Bingham was 85th in the nation. Rushing leaders, Chuck Griffin's number two in the nation. That's fantastic. I love to see that. Chuck Griffin's such a workhorse. It's going to be sad to not have, to, not, not have him anymore. Uh, tackling control is on 92 in the nation. That's our highest tackler. Quentin Preston has nine sacks. Keep that number in your in your head. Nine sacks before the game against Miami. Uh, so, um, as we look at uh, Oliver Smith, who only has a 46-yard longest. Um, keep that in mind, too. So, um, we're going to take a look and see what's going on with us versus them. Uh, Kurt, uh, Kurt Herbstreit has us taking the game. They have an overpowered defense. Um, points per game, they have a really good offense. They have a better offense than us. We have a better rushing offense than them. Um, and our defense is now number one in the nation. I'm so happy. But their turnover differential is 117th, and we're only 71, which is bad whenever there's a team that has more turnovers than us. Um, so our passing defense isn't as good. I mean, it, it's better, but it's not as good as I want it to be. But our rushing defense, I am very happy about. 55 yards per game, I'll take that any day. Any day of the week, I'll take that. Um, but I, I can see this game being really competitive and really, really good. So um, definitely need to watch out for their defense, though. As we take a look, we have no injuries, and we have won eight in a row. And if we look at them, they've lost one in a row, and they have some key injuries. Left in center and middle linebacker. Um, they've never won the conference. They've never won the ACC. I guess they, they won the Big East back in 2001. I believe they were in the Big East back then. Yeah, I think so. Which is now the America Conference. Um, and then they we we're just looking at our our uh, our schedule. That loss against Tennessee at the very beginning and then their schedule. They, they lost four in a row earlier in the year. That's going to be tough for any team. So... Um, Hopefully, we can beat them. I think we will. I don't know. They're pretty. I can see them being pretty tough. So, uh, as we look at their their passing leader, Jackson's still their quarterback from last year. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure we faced them last year. Um, so, but anyways, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, and I'm gonna try to get that poll out for you guys to pick who you guys want to do. Who you guys want me to do for uh, the next. Or next year's game or this come or this year's game. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. See ya. Bye.